Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles to Daily Lessons, and we're in a new module, What is the Ego? And today we're on Lesson 331 for the daily lesson. There is no conflict, for my will is yours. How foolish, Father, to believe your son could, have him, could cause himself to suffer. Could he make a plan for his damnation and be left without a certain way to his release? You love me, Father. You could never leave me desolate to die within a world of pain and cruelty. How could I think that love has left itself? There is no will except the will of love. Fear is a dream and has no will that can conflict with yours. Conflict is sleep and peace awakening. Death is illusion, life eternal truth. There is no opposition to your will. There is no conflict, for my will is yours. Forgiveness shows us that God's will is one and that we share it. Let us look upon the holy sights forgiveness shows today that we may find the peace of God. Amen. I'll read it again. There is no conflict, for my will is yours. How foolish, Father, to believe your son could cause himself to suffer. Could he make a plan for his damnation and be left without a certain way to his release? You love me, Father. You could never leave me desolate to die within a world of pain and cruelty. How could I think that love has left itself? There is no will except the will of love. Fear is a dream and has no will that can conflict with yours. Conflict is sleep and peace awakening. Death is illusion, life eternal truth. There is no opposition to your will. There is no conflict for my will is yours. Forgiveness shows us that God's will is one and that we share it. Let us look upon the holy sights forgiveness shows today that we, that we may find the peace of God. Amen. So when we come into the realization that uh, our ego is, is separate it's a function of our body, and that we ourselves are egoless. And without ego, there's no judgment. And so, there is no will except the will of love. That's what's in form here. That's what's in play. That's what God has created to experience. Not that there aren't other things happening here on earth because people are asleep and they don't know. And so they are not one and they are acting with their human will, right? Their, their, their physical body will, their egoic will, which is different, right? That's where, that's where uh, I believe this is where... Uh, personal freedom comes in, freedom of choice, right? God created each of us to have an experience of us and through us. There was a plan, there's a cast, it's a play, there's an outcome that's in God's mind. That's what's happening here. We can try to subvert God's will. And all it means is that we're living in separation when we're doing that. God willed me here to do something. Every time I try to do something that is not a part of that will, I am in separation and my ego has taken over. So I hope that helps explain what we're talking about here. Um, if you'd like additional support, you can feel free to reach out to me, 907-351-3003.
uh, message me through Facebook or YouTube or SoundCloud or through my websites, lindalamp.com and lindalamp.shop. And until tomorrow, namaste and much love. <laughs>